Hi, I am Jyoti and I have close to 9 years of experience in software testing. So before I proceed on today's question, which is quality of a tester, I would like to thank Prajesh for giving me this opportunity to present my views on this topic. So let's get started. The first quality which one should have as a tester is coordination and collaboration. Why? Because nowadays projects are run across different offices. There are multiple sprint teams who are involved in the development of a product. So if you have coordination and collaboration skills, you will be able to save your testing efforts during integration uh, time. Uh, you will be able to mitigate the risk. You will be able to manage the stakeholder expectation because you will be aware what is going around in different sprint of your project. Second skill which one should have is to stay relevant uh, because uh, the processes or procedures or technologies which we were using nine years back to test an application might not hold true during agile era. So how can one be relevant? Uh, you can be part of certain test communities wherein there are people of different experience range and there are people who would have faced similar problems uh, sometime or other in their uh, experience. So you can always reach out uh, to people in this community and look for expert advices. Second, you can always attend conferences or webinar. They are great source of learning. They help you understand what is going around in various parts of the world and how how uh, testers are approaching certain problems in uh, in different countries or in different organization. Third thing you can do to stay relevant is read blogs even they are great source of knowledge so always find out five to ten minutes uh, because everything is easily accessible nowadays right so you can always um, uh, read some blog um, uh, daily uh, this would also give you uh, a good picture about the things which is uh, being done in different um, project okay by different testers a uh, third thing which one should have as a quality is uh, that of uh, bus business acumen okay one should have a understanding of the product and its architecture uh, there's a there's one very important skill which comes into picture for this quality which is uh, that of being curious so as a tester you should always be curious to understand how the application is working how this application is going to solve certain problem of a customer so this way you will be able to uh, think about different scenarios okay which uh, client might face while using your product and uh, uh, for example, if you know the architecture, if you know that your application is being hosted on a cloud, so in case of a production issue, you will be easily be able to pinpoint, pinpoint exact root cause of, uh, of the failure. Okay, so that's why it's very important for a tester to understand the architecture of the application, to understand the pain point this product is going to solve, and uh, always always take out some time to research and find out uh, if this product if similar um, category of product was developed by your competitor so what was the high point of that product what was the low point of the product what kind of issues the customer faced while using that product so having all these knowledge would help you to uh, deliver a quality product uh, fourth thing which I would like to highlight is uh, um, don't don't focus on tool yeah as a tester uh, especially uh, the experienced tester who are moving towards leadership or a management role I would say uh, you should invest your time in understanding your people, in understanding the problems they are facing. Uh, you should provide an open culture so that they can easily uh, tell you uh, if there was any production issue, what was the root cause of that? Was it a people process? Okay, so so you should focus more on people uh, rather than tools. Okay. Uh, because tools are not going to solve your problems. It's people who are going to solve your problem. So as a leader, this is especially for the leaders or managers in testing field that always uh, make sure you have an open culture wherein your 
peers your colleague your juniors they can easily talk about the challenges which they are facing while testing certain features there are times i have seen that uh, maybe a uh, feature would require just one day to test but uh, a tester ended up taking 2 3 days and if you uh, go ahead and talk to the person you will understand that the reason for this delay was the availability of environment okay or uh, the um, issue in his understanding of scope of the product so if you have that open culture people would come up to you and they'll discuss this problem which uh, you can help them solve better and uh, finally i would like to conclude that these for practicing this quality or for possessing the skills one should be pas- passionate about your uh, about the craft so it's not important uh, that uh, uh you uh, you contribute just by doing functional testing if automation um, uh, interests you i would say go ahead f- for automation if performance testing uh, uh, interests you go ahead with the performance testing but do what you love this way you will be able to give or deliver quality product and finally uh, stay healthy and uh, stay hel- happy thank you everybody my name is shruti singh and i am a native of chansi i am an it professional with 2 years of working experience into software testing and i work in noida so foremost i would really like to thank wit that is women in testing campaign for allowing me this opportunity and considering me worth so that i could speak up and put forward my words and uh, i'm really grateful for them and anybody who is watching me and for especially wit for letting me be a part of their group so today i have been asked to share my recommendations any advices or tips for the freshers who are about to start their career into software testing and i hope this video would be helpful or beneficial to anybody who is watching it and uh, i hope this could help you out in any either ways in any way you want So in my view the first thing i would like to suggest is that you guys need to cheer up all right so you just need to be passionate about anything you do you need to be very zealistic you need to sweat out a lot add on some more hours give some more hours in whatever you are doing especially when you are about to start your career and uh, you you find many people in your surrounding stating that oh you're a software tester you might not be good at coding you are earning earning less than a software developer but you just need to break all the myths just listen to your heart you have to start at your career you have miles and miles to go away so instead of getting disheartened you just need to put forward you need to give your heart and your brains to in whatever you are doing and you see how better and gradually you will evolve in the things all right so you just need not to be disheartened give your full heart work realistically and zealously both ways and you see that how better how good you succeed second thing i'll suggest is that you just need to develop the skills or i would say to be more precise i would say develop the right kinds of skills uh, be it any field software testing software development databases networking architecture anything you just need to give your full heart in whatever you are doing you just need to start by reading more books or articles related to your field and you see how how easily you will shape up all right so this is something which you could uh, do or keep in mind and uh, very important thing about software testing is that you need to be analytically strong all right you need to be a very good observer you need to be very keen in analyzing things you need to be creative so and especially if you are a fresher a newbie who is starting a career with uh, some it organization which is a startup so you may have a chance to interact with the clients to direct uh, Uh, interact with the business analyst teams the dev teams which could be very very helpful and beneficial for you to start your um, as an 
your in developing your interpersonal skills your comm skills so you would eventually learn reporting so you you could literally be very good in testing when you are very good at being creative being innovative being improvement right you just need to learn more and more never get disheartened do whatever you feel is right you really have you have just started your career so you have you you have more of the time you have most of the time you will be in a confused state whether to do testing whether to start something else whether to change your paths but if you have got into this learn wherever you are and see how well you do it do in software testing especially and from my personal opinion i could tell you that is uh, the thought process all right when you are a software tester instead of making the code you think of breaking the code you think from various perspectives right not from a single point of view you think of how a person who has developed the code you think from their perspective as well from your perspective and from end users perspective all right so basically software tester is into someone who who understands everything end to end process a person who understands the details the uh, coverage and uh, the th- thought process main is the thought process people do mm, change their thought process as in they become quite keen in learning more interested in whatever they are doing all right so and uh, what i yes and i could tell you some fun parts of being a qa from my personal point of view is that um, you being paid for some th- uh, for something as in where you have to find out errors some issues in someone else's work someone else's product so what more fun could it be that all right i i'm just joking jokes apart so with testing is again a very challenging position for any person as in uh, qa needs to needs to be very precise not precise as in to uh, stuck with one thing the qa needs to be uh, precise with everything the errors the uh, code logics everything the coverage and uh, yes the clients Uh, clients do look upon to you as a trust factor if a tester says the thing is passed or this is uh, the status of this um, anything is marked as passed then only that uh, thing is taken into consideration if a slightest or bit of error consists that thing is not taken into consideration instead the developer has to uh, check it amend the errors and again do the uh, develop uh, the coding part so yes uh, you become very you become very client specific and you have great relations with your client if you have good comm skills you develop this and uh, you also start understanding things from client's perspective all right from business point of view end to end business and you do understand mapping of business standards so this is something which you could uh, see and you would gradually see that yes software testing is also equally important without software testing nothing is possible for a product or for a developer all right and uh, last but not the least i would suggest is that keep going never underestimate and uh, stop experimenting with yourself all right just explore because you have just started your career so just keep on exploring and uh, just keep on uh, finding new ways how could you evolve or how could you grow so uh, that's all from my side i hope this is uh, something which could help you out and uh, thank you Bye bye have a great day Hello my name is Jayashree Varkar and I am from Mumbai First of all I would like to thank TTC community for giving me this opportunity to talk about testing Today I am here to share some of my recommendations or suggestions for the freshers who are going to start their career into testing 
so to start with my first suggestion would be always learn from your mistakes don't be afraid of making mistakes they will help you learn and grow into your career by that i don't mean you need to make mistakes on purpose although whenever it happens just take it as a learning and move ahead coming to the second suggestion which is ask questions never ever assume anything even if you have a slightest doubt just ask it out this will help you understanding the product in a better way and you will be surprised to see that most of the bugs can be found in the requirement space itself my third suggestion would be have an attitude of learning in your career wherever you are or whatever you are doing never stop learning always upskill yourself try taking out some time at least half an hour a day to learn something new about testing or else you will be bored by doing the same thing after few years as the saying goes small wins leads to big achievements my fourth suggestion would be be passionate about what you do yes you have to be passionate about testing however how will you know whether you are passionate about testing or not you have to try it put all in your efforts and in the end if you feel that this is something uh, this is something which you want to do or this is something that you don't want to do you always have a choice to switch my last suggestion would be respect your profession if you are truly passionate about testing respect it be proud of it and you will surely rock it don't get this hatred by someone who says it otherwise so to summarize here are my top 5 suggestions first always learn from your mistakes second ask questions third have an attitude of learning fourth be passionate of what you do fifth respect your profession last but not the least join the ttc group there you will find fellow testers from across the world and you will get to learn a lot from them along with the legends of testing community i hope this uh, all those who are watching this video my suggestions uh, would help you in some or the other way so i would like to thank thank again ttc community for having me and happy testing thank you